Hello there. Welcome to a tyke farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Ding a ling ding dong the bell. It's Monday morning. Just turned six o'clock. Nobody on site yet. We'll have three men in today. Uh, Gordon was his last day was Saturday. Um, we'll certainly have. Is it Gordon? Keep getting mixed up. No, it's not Gordon. I forget offhand. We'll certainly have him back. He's a, a good bloke with that one. Uh, but we don't have the work for him at the moment. And we don't have the funds um, to keep him going, pottering around. Um, we've got to be careful with the budget now. Uh, we'd, we're not as flush as we were when I first came, put it that way. Um, the chickens, first lot of chickens are arriving tomorrow. And then I've got uh, two, two sets of cages arriving on Wednesday. So we're a bit going off this week. Um, so I need to get things organised a little bit for the chickens coming tomorrow. So as usual we'll make two or three videos throughout the day and I'll get back to you shortly. So we've still got a fair bit of work to do on the hen house. But uh, we won't need the hen house for a few weeks. The chicks are a week old, but to make up the numbers is putting some older chicks in. Maybe two or three weeks old at the same price. Um, so we, we moved the uh, pig pen out here into the what's going to be the storeroom. So this is where they're going to go. Um, the pig matting on the bottom, I think possibly the holes will be too big for the chick's feet. So I'll put cardboard cartons on the bottom. And... Uh, Every two or three days, if they get soiled, we'll replace the cartons. Um, I've got an uh, infrared lamp, and I'm trying these. I've never tried these. I've never seen these before. They're infrared. Um, for chickens, it said on... Um, Shoppy. But I think they're mainly made for reptiles. But they give a fair bit of heat off, more heat than what the lamps do. But they're infrared the same. I've got another one of them. Um, I shall find another lamp as well. So with two for each uh, pen, if we need to. Um, I don't know how many chicks we've got coming now. Not as many as what I, I first ordered. Um, they may be all going one pen. But if there's a, a difference in ages, um, I'll maybe se separate the small chicks from the larger chicks. So, we're ready with this. We need something covering the top um, to keep cats out so I'll, I'll maybe put the that mosquito netting I've got it's um, it's quite strong stuff so I'll maybe put cover the top with mosquito netting and then at the, the back end there I'll probably put a tin sheet across just to make it more cosy for the chicks and we can get access in and out through the door, so... I was going to say I'll staple the, the netting onto the wood, but we've got a metal... Oh, you could, yeah. 
No, you can't here. We've got angle angle iron, so we can't staple it on. But we'll, we'll sort something out. And then when the cages come on Wednesday, we can arrange in there um, which how we're going to put them, which way they're going to go. So the toilets and shower over there is um, ready for shuttering up and pouring I think now. So we'll get that done this week and then we'll figure out what we're doing with the walls. So I'll leave this one there and I'll do another one later on. Oh, the tomatoes, I'll show you the tomatoes we've planted. And I said, don't dig them out. Get your tomatoes off them. There's quite a lot, as you can see, there's quite a lot of tomatoes come on now. Um, but they don't wait till they go ready. They'll pick them when they're green like this. Uh, but they mostly seem to pick them when they're greenish, reddish, but mostly green. <coughs> and as always, I put them in soups to go with rice. Yeah, and the cats are with Mary, as usual. There's two, I think, and the dog, of course. So that's the first panel made for the front of the road. If you can see it's it's angle iron and the tops are quite vicious aren't they? Yeah. But that uh, is a little bit more substantial than the, down the side. Um, the sides of the bottom, plot and the bottom. A bit more substantial and when it's painted black it'll look quite nice I think. And it'll match what Soy did on the gates here. That's the idea. It's to match up with the front, front of the shop. It's quarter past twelve. Uh, Lynn and Ramel have put the first section of fencing up on the front with one, two, three, with five in total to do there and there's still three left I think to do on the side, no four. So as chickens come in Tomorrow morning, as far as I know. So I've been sorting the uh, chicken run out. Soy's been down here preparing to put the sewer pipe in. He's got bits of rear bar welded into the wall. He'll be going all the way down to support the pipe down to the septic tank. So we're going on with that. All the gears on site to, to do it. You find your phone. You find your phone. Yeah. Yeah. So you're getting ready for the chips coming in. The feeders are in. The drinkers in. Put some cartons on the floor so they don't fall through the pig matting. And we've put mosquito net on the top. 
So this pens to be. There's some bigger birds as well, so maybe we won't have to put cartons on that side. Maybe um, the feet will be big enough not to fall through. Anyway, we'll see. So I'll leave this video there and I'll make another one later this afternoon, early evening. It's uh, 20 past five, so we'll go and have a look and see what we've done today. The uh, first panel's in. That's the shorter panel than the rest of them. Uh, it, with the angle iron, it's quite more substantive than the the ones with the Rio bar. Not a lot, lot more work goes into them. So they've made that one and fitted that this morning. And we've got another one made up ready for fitting. So they've done two today. And there's three left. So now they're into it, um, they'll maybe get three done tomorrow. Or close to three, so it'll be close to being finished tomorrow. So Wynn and Ramel's been working on the fence. Um, Soy's been working on the sewer pipe to the cesspit. And it looks like uh, it's finished. There we are connected to the cesspit and going up there to the shower. And toilet. So the four inch pipe is the sewer pipe, then underneath there, that's the outlet to the shower, which just goes to ground. So tomorrow I've got to get a toilet bowl, a shower fitment, um, I've got bits and pieces. We need some more of this um, plumbing pipe to put the water in. I'll have a look at that in a minute. But uh, we're fixed up now for the chickens coming in tomorrow. Or one side is, we don't know if we have to do anything to the other side. We'll probably separate the small birds from the large birds. Or the larger birds. And I'll probably get a couple of pieces of steel matting to go on top of this mosquito netting um, to stop any cats or dogs jumping on it but we had a dog in here today, a stray dog got it over the front but that should be ended tomorrow um, yeah what we need to do when we're putting the plumbing in uh, I think it's We've got a tap here and a, a pipe, but there's not a lot, of, a great deal of pressure on that tap. So it'll probably bring it, the pipe work, from here. From the last pen with the pig nipples. Probably tap into there, I think. There's more pressure on that one. Um, so we'll have to make a list of all the fittings he needs tomorrow morning. So I can get them and we'll alter all these water nipples on the uh, gestation pens because when they're drinking here, the pigs drink a lot of water, it all goes into the trough. Um, so we need to put them down the side there so that it goes onto the floor. 
So we need a fair few fittings fit to alter them, I think. Um, like most things, you know, you, you do something and then when you get to use it, you realise it's not quite right and you've got to adjust it. Um, maybe should have realised initially, but we didn't. So we need to alter it and make it, make it work, uh, work right. So there's uh, still a bit to do. The walls on the shower and that have to be poured and <coughs> concreted. And then we'll be on to the netting around the piggery. Um, I'll get everything emptied out, give it a good wash out, get the netting all fitted and then we'll lime wash it out um, and it'll have six weeks to stand probably whitewash it twice um, make sure we kill everything in, in the piggery uh, with a view to getting pigs back in around Christmas just before Christmas, just after Christmas but that will depend on what's available uh, there's no pigs locally available um, on the mountain so we'll have to go a bit further afield to find pigs so yeah a lot going on and it's all starting to come together now I'm just thinking Tuesday today no yeah Tuesday today um, yeah, we'll be on to the netting by the end of this week, I would think. Yeah. So, that's it for today. We'll leave it there. And we'll see you all again on Wednesday, tomorrow. <laughs>